Hello everyone, my name is Raul Krunewald. I'm going to talk about the topic of my undergraduate thesis, which is the numerical simulation of sea waves in interaction with a coastal edge defense proposed in the Excise and Lagrange. This work was done in the mechanical engineering department of the University of Trapaca. So, as an outline, we have here the motivation and objectives, main configurations, cases, the results of these case, cases, conclusions, and finally, next steps. So, first, the motivation and objectives of this work, beginning by the motivation, are first, protection of coastal areas has become essential because economic, transport, residential, tourist, recreational, and other activities are carried out in these areas. Also, sea level rise and coastal phenomena threaten these areas. To face that, coastal edge defense have been developed to protect coastal areas. And for these reasons, it turns out interesting to simulate the fluid structure interaction between sea waves and a sea wall as a coastal edge defense. Uh, here we have some examples of coastal edge defenses, which are in this case gabions that are these structures that protect the sun behind them from the, what the waves that come from the sea. Also we have uh, breakwater, in this case we show the breakwater of the port of Veracruz in Mexico, it's a big structure, and we have also sea walls that are structure, structures like this. In this case we have a curved sea wall and it reflects the, wa the waves that come from the sea and it reflects them because of its geometry. And, and in this way it, this structure protects uh, the zone that is behind, them, behind it. Uh, the objectives of this work are first simulate the interaction between sea waves and a uh, sea wall, evaluate the effect effectiveness of the coastal edge defense, and that means the the capability that the wall has to let pass the lowest water level and obtain pressure and velocity results on the coastal edge defense. So, uh, in the name of this topic, we have the this zone, the ex Island in Lagrange, and I'm going to explain wha why comes this, this name, why ex Island. This is the Iceland in Lagrange, or, or this was the, the, ex the Iceland in Lagrange, and this here is the continent, and because the, the Iceland were, was near to the continent, a short road was constructed to join the Iceland to the continent, and that is why the name of the, this Iceland is X Iceland now. Here is added an, another picture of the, of the X Iceland where the waves that, cr com co that comes to it are or, or comes from the southwest and impacts here. And here a uh, surf zone is created. So at the beginning, uh, we want to we wanted to uh, simulate this zone, but there were two reasons uh, why we didn't, and these reasons were uh, first that this is a zone with approximately 300 meters, and it is. It has a high computational cost, so uh, it, it is not so easy to, to simulate. We don't have the resource to, to simulate this kind of computational domain. And the other reason is that we didn't have a, enough data about the bathymetry of this place. If you don't know what bathy bathymetry is, it is the geometry of the seabed. So 
for these reasons, we decided to work this in a two-dimensional simulation and not in a three-dimensional simulation. So uh, here we are going to talk about the main configurations for the simulation. Um, but first, we are going to talk about some features of the simulation. For example, that the, ob the f software that, wa that was used for the simulation is open form in its version 5.0 with its solver interform which is characterized by being multiphase, incompressible, transient, laminar or turbulent any of, uh, of this could be selected as the regime uh, is immiscible, isothermal and it uses the volume of fluid method or by VOF uh, as turbulent flow was selected for this case and the governing equations that are involved in this case are the continuity equations, navier stoke equations and an equation for the volume of fluid method. Uh, the, uh, uh, the tutorial wave that is available in OpenFORM open 5.0 uh, was helpful to this work and I I decided to highlight it and the variables to solve are phases, velocity, pressure and k, epsilon and node which are the parameters of the turbulence that is treated here. So meshing, uh, we used uh, three meshing tools, lock mesh, refine mesh and snapping hex mesh. First we create with block mesh a uh, block which has uh, 405 meter length and 56 m meters width and one meter depth because of the this because this is a 2D simulation or two dimensional simulation. The cells that are created here has these sides, one meter length and width and one meter depth. Then we refined this zone in the middle because here the the faces that are going to be treated here uh, water and air takes pl takes place in this zone and it's better to have uh, uh, elements that could represent these faces uh, and it's appropriate that these cells are uh, smaller so uh, here we use three refinement levels. Here is the first refinement level, the second refinement level, and this is the third refinement level. And the smallest element here uh, has these dimensions, uh, 0.125 meter length and width, and one meter depth, so the refinement was done only in the horizontal and the vertical dimension. Then uh, to introduce the ba bathymetric profile we use the snappy hex mesh tool and then we have or we obtained the, the domain that is going to be treated or that is going to be used in the simulations. Uh, to specify the C words that are going to be used in the simulation, used in the simulation, are two kind of wall. First, the curved wall, and then the straight wall. Uh, both of them have this the following external dimensions: 0 0.85 meters and 1.7 meters. The boundary condition that was that were used are in these boundaries uh, whose names are left wall in at left, atmosphere at the top, right wall at the right, body for the mathematic profile and front and back to represent the front and the back of the computational domain. Uh, the type of these boundaries are wall for right wall and body 
and, and patch for left wall and atmosphere. Of course, the front and back has the type empty because of the two di because this case is a two-dimensional simulation. It's important to talk about the configuration of the of how the waves are created or are introduced in the domain. Here we use a wave velocity condition uh, at, the, uh, at the left, here in left world, so waves are created from the left, from, le from left world. And the origin of the waves has this coordinate, zero to zero. The direction of the waves is one zero zero, which means that waves travels in a horizontal direction from left to right. The speed is zero, which means that there is no an uh, an cor a current a current uh, in the, the in the domain. So there is no additional water that is introduced in the domain. We are going to talk about that uh, uh, later. And this wave velocity condition requires an a wave model. In this case, we uh, have used. Uh, the airy wave model, which certainly is not appropriate for for the coast or for shallow waters, but is better for depth water. But even though this situation, uh, we use it, and we are going to see that the results are could be considered reasonable, but we are going to talk about that later. Uh, this wave model requires the length, the wavelength, that in this case is 130, the amplitude is 5 meters, the phase has this value which corresponds to uh, P half, and that is appropriate to introduce waves uh, in the into the domain and the angle is zero so here we have now the initial conditions to introduce the initial conditions we use the tool set waves which create this initial condition for for for, for faces where the red color represents water and the blue color represents air so here we have an initial condition with this wave profile and set waves sets the initial conditions for the velocity as well so here we have a field of a velocity field but uh, we should know that this is not the best uh, initial condition for uh, the phases because waves are generated here and the waves that are generated affects the behavior of these waves and um, besides this is not an appropriate an appropriate way to evaluate the effectiveness of the seawall we are going to see that in the results we are going to understand why is not appropriate this profile this way profile so uh, because of that we change the um, these initial conditions and we modify to this and this sorry so how we did that we created an algorithm in a python in python language and we introduced this new initial condition so faces hasn't has not uh, don't have a, a web profile and the velocity field the initial velocity field is this so there is no movement so faces are at rest at the beginning and then the initial conditions at the left are going to generate waves and they are going to travel into the domain. The turbulence is achieved through the Rans equations 
and the k epsilon model. The temporal setting that was used consists on the current number. In this case, a current number of 0 0.9 was selected. The simulation time is 180 seconds, which means that waves are going to be simulated uh, during 3 minutes or 180 seconds. The time step is 0 0.001 seconds and the write interval is 0 0.5 seconds. So we're going to have writing data every 0 0.5 seconds. The cases are 7 from 0 to 6 where which are described in this table so they are different because of these parameters the first one is the slope, wall, underwater element and refinement level so for example for the case one it has a slope it has a straight wall it, has, it, uh, it doesn't have underwater element and it has a refinement level 3 as we shown in the uh, with the meshing tools uh, we, could, we could see that the case 6 is similar to the case 2 both, has a s both ha ha have a slope, both have a curved wall They're, they don't have underwater element but they have different refinement levels so case 6 is an experiment of the, the case 2 to analyze uh, how is the influence or what is the influence of uh, an additional refinement level into the domain so here we have case 0 which corresponds to a, a beach for, e for example with a slope but it, it doesn't have a wall so there is no protection here and in this video we could see uh, the evolution of the phases so waves are generated here and they are going they be they start to travel into the domain we should know that at the beginning the waves that are traveling should break the inertia of the domain because the domain at the beginning is at rest and then we see that uh, this zone is affected if we, we want to see what happened in on the coast or in this zone we see that the waves arrive this zone and there then they are reflected by this wall that is the the boundary so yes and we can also see the velocity field or the evolution or the evolution of the velocity here we have uh, the maximum velocity of uh, 41 meter per second and here we can see the velocity profile or the velocity field so this is the case zero where, where there is not uh, wall protection the case one is similar but we have a a straight wall here so the way arrived but is reflected and here we can see that waves arrive to the wall but sometimes the water passes the wall but it's not continually but after the second 26 we see that this happens that the wall that the water passes the wall in a continually form in a continually wave way 
So in at this moment we s we we can say that the waves have or that waves uh, broke the inertia of the domain. So we can see the same for case two, but case two has a curved wall. It has this pixel form because of the the mesh. So we can see this, and at the end of the video, we can see that the water passes the wall. And then we have the case 3, the where this is the initial condition. In this case, there is not a slope. Here, there is a curved wall but there is no slope, which represents the case of a eroded beach. Then the case 4 is similar to case 2, here there is a slope and it has a uh, curved wall, but here it had, uh, has an underwater element, that is the mount. And the case 5, in the case 5, is also similar to the case 2 with a curved wall here, with a slope, but here is a rock defense. This is similar to this. Here we have a URL of a video in YouTube where a wave tank test simul uh, simulator is shown. Waves are simulated here. Here is a straight wall as a coastal edge defense. And here a um, uh, rock defense where was placed here. And they, in the video, the person or the author want to to see the effect of this um, kind of defend in its tanks. So this is the idea of this case. We will see the video of the faces. So waves are traveling but they feel the influence of the rock this of this rock defense. Of course it is not similar to the picture I sh I've shown before, but it's an example or it's a first approximation of that uh, complicated geometry of the rock of the rocks that were in picture. So then we have the case six that is similar to case two, but here the elements has as a, a sides of. 0.0625 meter length and width and 1 meter depth. So the elements are too uh, small. The results of the simulation. For the results, we should say that um, the operative system we used was Ubuntu 18.04.1 LTS, the memory is 32 gigabytes the processor is this and we should know that it, it has 16 cores and for each simulation of or for each case 16 cores were used and the graphic board was this this one and here are the character uh, characteristic of the computer we used to carry out the simulation of this works if this work then we have the a relation uh, um, which allow us which allows us to calculate or to evaluate the effectiveness where e is the effectiveness V is the volume of water that passes the wall and VP is the volume of water that passes the wall in case one. So, and of course the, the hundred here is to give this result in, in percentage. What we, would, what we do here is uh, evaluate the effectiveness of the wall based on the volume of water that passes the wall in case one. So for example, if the effectiveness is 20%, that means 
that oh, oh we should say the case for for example if the effectiveness in case two is 20 percent that means that in the case two the the zone behind the wall uh, allows 20 percent less water than case one so we're going to evaluate the effectiveness at 163 seconds uh, simply because uh, at, at that time in case one we have a, a geometry of the water that passes the wall that is similar to a rectangle so it's more defined so we take also a picture of of the what the water behind this wall or in the protected side at 166 record 63 seconds then we have the case 3 the case 4 the case 5 and the case 6 we can also see here that uh, the geometry of the of the sea wall in case 5 or we uh, or with a refinement level three, and here with a refinement level four is more defined, some additional information. So um, then we can count uh, the the cells that has no air. That means the the cells that are red or with water, and the cells that has an that have an intermediate. In or, or a undefined interface value. So that is for case one, and that is for case six, where we have uh, smaller elements. And in this way, we could we can count the quantity of cells in the protected side for all the cases we can see that the case 6 has more cells with water because the elements are smaller and then we can obtain the volume of water because we know the size of the cells and from that we can obtain the effectiveness for case 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 the effectiveness of for case 1 doesn't have sense because we are comparing the effectiveness based on the case one and the case zero does not have um, effectiveness because it doesn't have a wall it doesn't have a wall sorry so here is a summary of the results of the results obtained for cases for all the cases so first, in the first three rows, uh, we show the results of that were shown here. But also, or in or additionally, we we show these results: the approximate simulation times in hours. That means the the times that the solver uh, requires to solve the each case the resulting size of the simulation in gigabytes which is the 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 data that the computer stored for, for each case the max velocity around the wall and the max pressure around the wall which is something like this for case one in the case of pressure so this is the straight wall and the cells around this wall were selected so we can see here the pressure variations ar around the wall and that means this change of color means that the wave is performs on the wall but at the end we see that this side doesn't change in color or change or is has a more a red color and that is because the water is being or the what the water 
is accumulated here so it creates a hydrostatic pressure in this zone that is for case 1 and this is for case 2 we do that for all the cases and here we can see the geometry of the cells that are around the wall and it's almost the same um, we also, oh sorry in the case of the effectiveness it's something, something curious happened because here we have the geometry of case 2 here we have uh, a wall a curved wall and a slope the, the curved wall is a coastal edge defense but the, the slope is also a coastal edge defense so here we have two coastal edge defenses because two reflects the water these two reflects the water but in case in case three we have only one coastal edge defense we don't have a slope but if we see the results of volume of water we see that the case two allows more water in the protected side than case three but case two has more protection or coastal edge defenses so it's curious and the reason of that is probably because when the waves travel from left and should break the inertia of the domain they need more time to break the inertia of this domain than this domain because this domain has no slope and instead of a slope it has more, more water so it needs more time and maybe the picture shouldn't be taken at 163 seconds so that that is why maybe uh, the volume of water in case 3 at 163 seconds it's not comparable with the other cases so we are going to consider that okay, the results of, the, of K3 are not validate to compare with the other cases. Uh, in the case of the approximate, approximate simulation time, we can see that, that almost all the cases during three hours, uh, but the exception is the case 6 which uh, last almost 30 hours uh, in addition the resulting site of the simulation for for this for this parameter almost all the cases stores store uh, almost f uh, 50 gigabytes but in the case 6 we need more storage to store the, the data that is generated for case 6 um, another uh, observation we can do is that the case 4 and the case 5 has the highest results of effectiveness uh, and that there we could see the influence of the underwater elements the in the effectiveness of the coastal edge defense in the wall about the max velocity or the maximum velocity around the wall and uh, pressure around the wall uh, we can see that if we don't take into account the results of case 6 that is an experiment of case 2 we could compare the case 1 the case 2 the case 4 and the case 5 we also don't take in account uh, the case 3 because the reason we talk about the volume of water we said before and in in the case of in the case 1 we obtain the maximum velocity maybe 
we should compare the the average of the velocities of each case because this is a peak velocity maybe and it doesn't represent the average of the the case the values the values of case one but uh, anyway it is higher than the other uh, values of velocity around the world and in the case of pressure we could note that the case one um, has the lowest pressure result in comparison with case two case four and case five where the walls are curved so we can say that uh, the curved walls uh, uh, no not required but they need or they support a uh, highest pressure or they need to support a highest pressure and it could be re related with the experiment of fluid mechanics where we compare a, a flat play plate with a curved pl a plate and we compare the the momentum between them that is comparable with that so we have this and finally the conclusions first that it was possible to simulate the fluid structure interaction even though the results are not accurate enough to represent the reality as we see with the bathymetry data or the airy wave model this work is a first approximation to the true results of this fluid structure interaction so it's important to highlight that this is a first approximation uh, to the results of the fluid structure interaction between the waves and the uh, coastal edge defense that was proposed in second place the results of effectiveness are current which is reflected in the case two to six where the coastal edge defenses let a volume of water lower than that of case one so uh, all the results of effectiveness shown that the the wall in case one that is the straight wall is the worst coastal edge defense in comparison with the others with a curved wall and other uh, additional or an other ad additional elements yes then the implementation of submarine elements in the simulation showed that this significantly improved the effectiveness of the coastal edge defense that is we can see that in the effectiveness results they definitely are helpful to protect the sun but unfortunately they are too expensive to construct and they could affect the biodiversity in in the sun so it's not so uh, I don't know if, if it, this kind of uh, elements are suggestible to, to be constructed in the reality. And in, term of, in terms of learning, it was possible to develop a tool that allows to evaluate the effectiveness of a coastal edge defense, even under conditions that could be different from the ones seen in this work. For example, tight conditions, difference defense geometry, um, I don't know, maybe uh, with another kind of a slope or another kind of wall uh, or another kind of combination between them oh uh, i forget to mention something about case two and case six because the case six was an experiment of case two and if we watch them in the results of effectiveness we could say that there are there they aren't similar and the the results of max maximum velocity velocity around the wall and maximum pressure around the wall uh, they aren't similar as well so um, maybe uh, we should study more deeply what happened be between these these two cases because 
this is, is because they are sim the situation for both are is similar the 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 variation is only in the in the refinement but it could be interesting to watch how is the what is the average um, max ve maximum velocity around the wall in case two and the same for pressure and what is the average here for both parameters so it could be uh, show in this in that way we could make a, a better difference between these two cases so if we continue we continue with the next steps so first use an appropriate wave model for shallow waters or for waters that are uh, near to the topic for example the senoidal wave model is an appropriate wave model for shallow waters but it wasn't used here so another possible next step is place more air at the top of the domain uh, the quantity of air at the top of the domain was arbitrary and we could test the quant the, the how, how if there, uh, there is a variation in the results if we put or we place more air at the top of the, of the domain maybe it affects the results or maybe not but we should make that experiment uh, try with another turbulence model we tried here with the um, k epsilon model but there is a lot of uh, turbulence model that could be used here and we of course we can obtain uh, different re different results of that we obtained here with the k epsilon model uh, apply a linear elasticity model to analyze the stress distribution and possible strain in the walls yes uh, here we considered that the wall were the that walls were rigid but that is not the real situation maybe with a linear elasticity model we could analyze or approximate result of a stress distribution or possible strain in the walls simulate in three dimensions of course that would be a uh, 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 probably next steps a next step it could be interesting but we should we need the more computational resource to uh, achieve that and then validate the results in a wave tank model testing uh, of course to compare the the results of the simulation with the reality that and how up how ac and we then we could we will say how accurate uh, were the rest the simulation results so this is all i think for your attention and for this this circumstance of the online international meeting for users of open form thank you very much <laughs>